My name is Jason Attu, and I'm the Executive Vice President and Chief Financial Officer at Goldcorp. In 2017, Goldcorp embarked on a 2020 growth plan, which is comprised of increasing our production by 20%, growing our reserves by 20%, and reducing our all-in sustaining costs by 20% by 2021. This 20% cost reduction would see our all-in sustaining costs go from $850 to $700 per ounce over that five-year period. We are achieving this target through the identification of $250 million in annual sustainable efficiencies, principally from three main sources. 55% of the reduction is coming from lower operating costs at all our sites. At Red Lake, for example, we're improving productivity by transitioning to mechanized and bulk mining and by rationalizing infrastructure. Penesquito, we've improved metal recovery substantially as a result of process control improvement work implemented for the flotation circuit an opportunity identified as part of this $250 million program. As we conclude our stripping phase at Penesquito in early 2019, the mine is expected to produce more lead and zinc byproducts, which will also contribute to a lower all-in sustaining cost. 40% of these efficiencies is from an increase in production. As we produce more gold, economies of scale will be realized as we go from 2.5 to 3 million ounces of produced gold per annum. The final 5% of this reduction will come from lower sustaining capital costs. We're well on our way to achieving the first $200 million in efficiencies by the end of 2017, and we'll achieve another $50 million by the middle of 2018, all while we reinvest in the critical components of our growth plan. At the same time, our balance sheet continues to improve. We have one of the strongest credit profiles amongst the senior gold producers, and have over $3 billion in liquidity. We are now in a harvest phase, supported by a core assets generating significant free cash flow as we prepare for the next growth cycle. We are well positioned to significantly reduce our net debt over the next five years, setting the stage for new growth opportunities, such as our Century and Nueva Union projects, which fall beyond our 2020 plan. In an industry marked by declining reserves and production, we have a sustainable plan for generating value well into the future. This is what distinguishes us from our peers.